sorry. You need to concentrate. Give her a break, Prowl. Humans don't have turbo balance thrusters. Or padded bumpers. I'm afraid Prowl's right. As Keeper of the Key, Sari is a potential target of the Decepticons, which means she must learn to defend herself. We won't always be there to protect you. Now try it again, and thrust with your legs like this. Got it this time. No worries. He deal with you in the morning, punk. Kid, Ratchet, Bumblebee, Prowl. Professor Sumdak just called. Sorry is missing. No sign of her yet, Captain. We've got squad cars searching the streets and mini subs checking the river. We're questioning the father now, but he says he didn't see anything. Keep searching the girl's room. I'll let you know what I find on the security vids. Hang on, I get another call. This is Fan Zone. Still me, Captain. Oh, uh, hang on. Yo, Fan Zone here. Still me, Captain. Uh, hello. Still me. This is why I hate machines. No need to be such a technophobe, Captain. A technophobe is someone who fears technology. Does this look like fear to you? Um, my mistake. Any news on Sari? Uh, Sumdak says she spent the day with you guys yesterday. Anything out of the ordinary happen? Just the usual stuff. Hanging out, teaching her ninja nerve blows, watching cartoons. Whoa, back up. What was that? Watching cartoons? No, before that. Ninja nerve blows? Oh. You're teaching an eight-year-old to do nerve blows? You want her to pick it up in the street? This is part of every protoform's elemental programming. Say what? Yeah, it's not like we're having her fight Decepticons. Yet. Has it occurred to you that hanging out with Autobots is maybe, I don't know, dangerous for a little girl? Define dangerous. Wait a minute. Roll that back. Sure thing, dog face. Is that one of the Dinobots? The robot dinosaurs? Impossible. We never did find out what happened to them after they escaped. I think we ought to tell Prime. What? That we moved the Dinobots to an island and never bothered to mention it to him? But sorry could be in trouble. This is my responsibility. I'll go to the Dinobots. Oh no, not without me. Fine. We'll head for the island after dark. Nothing in a room, Captain. That's okay. I think I just got a new lead on the case. I'm gonna follow this one on my own.
what you tin cans are up to, but I am sure as Shushang gonna find out. Uh oh. Down Periscope. I don't understand why the Dinobots would abduct Sari. They only wanted to be left in peace. When I'm done with them, they're gonna be left in pieces! Well, let's not jump to... Tracks? Yes, but not the Dinobots. Someone else has been on this island. I knew we shouldn't have let those Dinobots loose. What if somebody finds them here? That does not appear to be an issue at the moment. They're gone? Our visitors seem lost. Perhaps we should give them a hand. No sorry and no Dinobots? What if they hurt her? Oh, we should have let Sumdak melt them down like you wanted to. No. They were more than just mindless machines. They had a spark. A life force. We had to save them. So who's gonna save Sorry? You guys are in big trouble now. Told you they'd find me. Say the word and I'll pound him into scrap metal, boss. Not yet, Colossus Rhodes. I have other plans for our cybernetic friends. Yeah, right. You guys might as well get measured for your orange jumpsuits right now. Hope you like prison food. <sighs> <sighs> Watch it. Quick sand. I see it. You'd have to be a real glitch head to get caught in that. Help! That sounded like Captain Fanzone. Yeah, I, I, I do a really good impression of myself screaming for help! What are you doing here? Sinking! Get me out! Captain, why are you following us? I'll ask the questions. Starting with, what are you two doing on an abandoned island research facility in the middle of Lake Erie? I believe it's time for me to greet our intruders personally, Rhodes. You see that our guest is comfortable. Your friends are toast. What do you got to say for yourself now? I gotta go potty. Again? I'm a little girl, that's what I do. What's with the holographic trees? And what's this island got to do with the Sumdak kid anyway? There's something you're not telling me. Oh, can't think of anything. Uh, hmm. Okay, maybe that. Someone want to tell me what those things are doing here? Captain, remain still. Let me deal with the Dinobots. They trust me. It's all right. It's me, Prowl. The one who brought you here. Uh, intruders! Me, Grimlock, destroy! Uh. So much for trust! Oh, I, I don't understand. Ah! Oh no! Ah! Seems pretty 
straightforward to me. The Dinobots took Sari, and now they're trying to destroy us. No, Grimlock, stop! Why are you doing this? They're doing it because they're mean and dumb, and we should have never helped them escape. You helped them escape? Hang on. Acid burns. Oh. Is someone making you do this? Someone whose touch can melt your armor plating? Tell us what you've done with Sari! Trapped. An excellent assessment. Prometheus Black? The name is Meltdown. What have you got to do with all this? Everything. He's controlling the Dinobots, and he used them to take Sari. I saw his acid burns on their outer casings. Very well observed. It's true the Dinobots have learned to respect my touch. Me Grimlock, sorry. A meltdown hurt Dinobots. They serve as effective, if somewhat overqualified, watchdogs. It was quite a coup finding an island with its own security system. Just when I was in need of a little privacy to conduct some unique experiments. Oh, where's Sorry? What have you done with her? Oh yes, the little girl. My newest experimental subject. You miserable! Ah! Ah! Okay. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I have other plans for you. <laughs> Prowl. Prowl, you okay? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, the fall must have jammed my sensory circuits. Bulkhead, where's Bulkhead? Still topside. They got us in some kind of underground holding pen. We must find Sari and get her to Bulkhead. Meltdown's acid blast nearly put him offline. Her key is the only thing that might save him. Yeah, but these walls are military-grade steel. And those lasers? Well, you get the idea. There must be a way out. We have to get the bulkhead. I'm afraid your friend will have to wait. Meltdown, where is Sari? Why have you taken her? My goal is quite simple, really. After our last encounter, I reasoned that if a machine could change form, why not a human? Let me get this straight. You want to create a transforming human? Exactly! A person capable of taking on any shape or form at will! Sadly, my experiments to date have been somewhat less than successful. Now, the one to the left used to be my lawyer. Luckily, I soon realized my error. Adult test subject. What I needed was a human who was still growing. Sorry. Better than the daughter of my arch rival, the bane of my existence, the simpering fool who is unworthy to lick the mud off the heels of my platform shoes. Boogalookalookaluge. Professor Isaac Sumjak. Poetic, no? Poetic is not exactly the word that comes to mind. You are one seriously twisted fruitcake. Flattery will get you nowhere, Captain. 
In a few moments, I will administer a formula that will turn young Sari into a shape-changing wonder, or, if things go wrong, into one of them. Get back here, you sicko! This is cruel and unusual punishment, you hear me? At least we can defend ourselves, Captain. I shudder to think how Sari is faring right now. This is torture. How many times does a kid need to go to the bathroom? What are you doing there? Trust me, you don't want to know. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? There's something wrong with the toilet. <sighs> Kids. Did you try jiggling the handle? Dibs on Lefty. I hate lions. And that's for sorry! You little... Hey! You shorted out my electrode thingies! I can't bulk up! Hold on, and kick your legs off! Over here! Sorry, you're all right? You know, Prowl, I won't always be there to protect you. Sorry, Bulkhead is down. We need to get him your key, fast. This way. It's the way they brought me in. Protective suit. Might come in handy. There! Oh. Oh. Okay. He's barely online. Sorry, the key. supposed to be? Duh, it's called a distraction. Dinobot, attack! Wait, you don't have to do what he says. Look at him. He has no power now. He cannot hurt you. Bow down, not her Dinobots. Dinobots had meltdown. What the? Whoa. Uh. They couldn't do that before, right? No, 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 stop! Keep them away from me! Your choice, Meltdown. Prison? Or do we leave you to your pets? Get away! Get away! Get away! Away!
Yep, got them both, Professor Sumdak. And sorry is safe and sound. So don't you worry. Go! Ah, ow. Yeah, uh, I I'll call you later. So now that Fanzone and Sorry both know, maybe we ought to come clean with Prime about the Dinobots? Perhaps. But what will become of the Dinobots now? As long as they stay out of my city, I don't got a problem with them. Thank you. And thanks for all your help on the island. Yeah, you know, we made a pretty good team. You're not a bad guy to have at your back. For a machine. Neither are you. For a human. I definitely got it this time. Yeah! I'm good! I still ain't so sure about teaching ninja moves to eight-year-olds. Perhaps you're right. It seems Sari is more than capable of taking care of herself. In her own unique way.